Mirza from Noble Rom Support here, and in today's video, I'm going to announce you the brand new Noble Rom version 2 with Android 12 and One UI 4, and review this ROM and tell my experience using it for more than a week. And for those wondering, uh, Noble Rom is only made for the Exynos variant, so Snapdragon is not supported. And thanks to Alexis for giving me the build a bit sooner so I could prepare this video for you guys. Now, let's get things started. In this update, we try to listen to our members' request more in order to improve this ROM. We made Magisk and Root optional. It's a selectable option in our ROM installer. You can also choose between One UI 3.1 and One UI 4 camera from Aroma. I will explain the differences in detail in camera part of this review. As you can see, I have Noble ROM version 2 and Android 12 installed. I will show you some new stuff very quick. Well, um, here is a new color palette uh, working with Google's new theme engine. It themes your device based on wallpaper you set for your phone. We also have the new widgets menu and more rounded look uh, widgets here. We also do have a kind of redesigned quick panel with a new redesigned uh, brightness bar. We do have the extra game option here and a new option always on display for showing, uh, for actually displaying while we get a new uh, notification. We also have a new charging animation, as you can see in here, which is well, kind of cool. And uh, we do have a new device gear. It's actually redesigned. And we do have the option for the RAM Plus, as you can see in here, which was known as a ZRAM in previous Noble RAM versions. And uh, in battery part, we do have the option of the protect battery. It only charges 85% of the battery capacity. So it reduces the wear cycle in a charging session and improves the battery lifespan. We also do have a new uh, privacy features here. And we can also uh, disable camera access and also microphone access for all apps at once from the quick panel. Uh, we also do have a new option in accessibility settings, visibility enhancements to reduce the transparency and blur in the ROM. It actually improves the overall performance and also battery. We also do have a new air action menu for the note devices and now we do have a kind of redesigned camera application in here and also edge panel uh, messages and some other applications which were present in previous novel rom 1.7 and many and many more actually I, I just wanted to show you some very main features added Before I start doing anything, I have to mention that I am using Noble ROM default kernel and GPU driver version R32, which is included in the ROM by default. I will open and close some applications so you can see the very satisfying animation. So smooth. I mean, look at this. It's so much more satisfying compared to the previous Noble ROM version. 1.7 even though Noble ROM 2 is still in initial release. Okay, now I'm gonna do some benchmark tests and firstly I want to go with the 3D Mark application in White Life and White Life Stress Test to see how the ROM performs. Um, first, uh, let me close all my applications. Also, I disable my VPN, cleared RAM, and now we can go for the 3D mark. We start with the stress test. Oh, 
okay um as the stress test uh, takes about 20 minutes i will just skip recording it but let's see just how it starts okay as you can see uh, we have a, a very great score in here and uh, the stability is also good maybe not as great as the previous novel rom versions but in general it's good uh the most uh score i could achieve with novel rom 1.7 and stock rom was around uh 2400 and uh, stability almost at 95 and 96 uh, percent but uh, we have a increase in score in here as you can see and all of this is thanks to the new GPU driver and also updated OpenCL to version uh, 3 also the optimizations made in the ROM uh, I will give the phone a bit to rest because it actually is having a high temperature as you can see we started with 32 degrees and lasted fit uh, 43 so kind of a hot um, temperature but actually it was a 20 minute stress test so this actually was uh, expected and now we start the white life test And as you can see, we also have a, a good FPS in here. I can say almost the same as uh, Noble 1.7 with a V44 light kernel. So great job to Noble ROM version 2 in benchmark scores in here. Now I'm going to again let the phone uh, cool a bit and go for the Geekbench CPU test. Now we're gonna start the Geekbench CPU test. And the scores here are again kind of the same as the previous Noble ROM version 1.7, no major changes. What I have to note here that a good ROM and kernel doesn't necessarily mean better scores as real life user experience is so much different from what benchmark scores show us. And about gaming, I have to say that I don't play games very often, but during my test in Call of Duty, in Rail Racing 3, Noble Round 2 was performing very well, as in a long gaming sessions like an hour, I really didn't have major FPS drops, so a big thumbs up to Noble Round 2 in, in this part. In battery part, I was feeling like Noble Round 2 is not really keeping up with the previous Noble Round 1.7, I used to get around uh, 6 to 6.30 hours screen on time, but in Noble 2, it's decreased to around 5.30 to 6 hours. And not a very big difference between these two, and it was kind of expected as this is Noble ROM 2 initial release, 
We hope to improve the battery in future updates. Here are some battery charts from my usage. This part is one of the most important sections which I have to explain fully. Well, uh, those who are familiar with porting ROMs probably know this is the most painful part in porting and there are some features which will not work at all or be bugged. Noble ROM is no exception either. In both One UI 4 and 3.1 camera, portrait mode on both uh, uh, actually on back camera and super slow motion is broken for now, but uh, other modes work without problems, except for some minor features. HDR photos are actually broken for now, and if you even have it uh, enabled, HDR will not be applied on your photos. So if you don't want to get a camera failure or anything like that, just turn off this HDR option for now. And for this uh, selfie, I have to say, if you uh, go so close near to the camera, like now, you will get camera fail, but it actually is working okay from longer distances like this. And now you're gonna ask, so what are the differences between One UI 4 and 3.1 camera? One UI 3.1 camera has single take working on both back and front camera, but in One UI 4 camera, single take on selfie is broken. Document scan and QR code scan for connecting to Wi-Fi is broken in 3.1 camera, but they work perfectly fine on One UI 4 camera. By selecting One UI 3.1 camera, you may feel the ROM is not smooth and you may face some lags, in some cases, don't ask why. And manual focus on uh, pro photo and actually pro video is not working at all in One UI 4 uh, camera, but it actually works perfectly fine in 3.1 camera. There are actually some tips and tricks which you need to know before installing Nova ROM. I have written them here, so I won't forget a single one of them. Only use the TWRP 3.6, so uh, you won't have any problems because older TWRP versions have the problem of stocking in the recovery logo when you flash the ROM, and again, you want to boot into recovery for, I don't know, a flashing fixes or any other stuff. And uh, if you're new to this community and uh, flashing uh, custom ROMs in general, check out how a video tutorial for installing Nova ROM and those coming from other ROMs and even previous Nova ROM versions. Clean flashing is something mandatory. So please, for God's sake, do a clean flash. We won't support dirt flashing. And uh, those on previous Nova ROM versions that are using TWR 3.6 now flash their ROM uh, to flash the ROM and do a reboot to recovery after wiping partitions. Otherwise, you are most likely going to face boot loops. Also, keep that in mind that uh, TWRP 3.6 also has an ODM partition too. So, when you want to do uh, wiping partitions, make sure to select that too. And uh, safety net won't pass without the magic scheme modules included by default. And also, this is very important. Do not update access accessibility app in Galaxy Store because you will lose the extra dim function. That's it. So here is the bugs that are fixed compared to the previous Novarum version 1.7. Ugly. 
list. I have shared the link for the bug list uh, and it will regularly be updated as users uh, report us the problems and bugs and we confirm them. So make sure to check them out. And I have to mention that the red colors mean that uh, these bugs will not ever be fixed. Yellow ones have a high chance of getting fixed and green ones are 100% going to be fixed. And as we come to the end of this video, I have to thank Alexis and Alucard, two main characters behind this project. Thanks to all testers and a very, very big thanks to Anand, one of the most known XD developers. If it wasn't for his help, this release wouldn't have happened anytime soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace out.